Okay, we're looking over here at uh, the solid geometry. It's 8.8 of the HSE workbook. Um, what they've given you, they've given you um, basically this auxiliary view over here. And they need you to draw in the uh, this view over here of the, the front view. Um, that's fairly easy. Um, they need you to find what this view looks like as your auxiliary view. Remember where you're standing, you are going to be standing down here and you're going to be looking in that direction because it's the first angle orthographic projection. Okay, step number one. Uh, first of all, I need to find the center of my pentagon over there. So how do I go about doing that? Well, that's fairly easy. I've got this line which is coming out at that 60 degree from the apex all the way down there and I can take that and that should go up to that corner of the pentagon over there. So I've got a line traveling all the way up there. I'm just going to use this red crown over here just to show that. There it is going all the way to the top over there. Okay, once I've got that, well then I know the center point for this line ED over here. And I'm going to measure that off very accurately, take it over here to CD, and there's the center point for CD. Okay, that length of line over there is the same as that length of line. So if I can find the center point over there, I should be able to draw a line going across from the center of CD to where A is over there, and that will give me the center of my pentagon. Once I've got that, I then come along here and I say, well, can I see these lines going up there? All right. Yes, definitely. I'll be able to see those lines. So those lines on the auxiliary view should be drawn in as dark lines, not as hidden detail. All right. So let's just draw those in. We may as well. There they are going from the corners of the pentagon to the apex of the pyramid. Right, there we go. Okay, once those lines are in there, I'm going to label that point as zero. I always like to label my apex as zero. And I now have all of the points A, B, C, D, and E. And I transfer those points down onto my, um, onto my front view over there. I'm just going to use lines coming down so that you can see where they're coming from. A coming down to the point there. E coming down to that point over there. D coming down over there. C coming down over there. Right. Okay. Um, you're probably saying, well, you know, why, why are... E and D done in hidden detail. What's, you know, what, why, why is that hid, hidden detail? Why not make B hidden detail? Um, the reason being is, where am I standing? I would be standing on this side over here, looking down, looking across like that. And you can see the first line that I've got is B, that's done in dark, and E and D are going to be in hidden detail. Right, once I've done that, my next step is to draw some construction lines coming down from all of these points onto the top view. And just get this sorted out. All right, there we go. I'm just going to take these lines down in blue. And please don't forget the apex. I'm going to use the red over there. All right. And now I come along here and I'm going to take lines coming across as well. In that direction and in that direction because we need in this drawing they're wanting to see the left and the right view. So I'm taking lines going across from all of the points onto my left view, which is going to be there, and onto my right view, which is going to be there. And don't forget the apex. This is the thing that you guys tend to forget. Apex it is actually on the x, y axis, but I'm going to draw it in, draw a construction line, a nice red construction line, just to remind us all about the apex. 
start by measuring the apex, okay? Don't forget, start with the apex. I come out here, I measure off with my pair of compasses. Okay, you can use a pair of dividers, but I'm going to use a set pair of compasses. The reason being is that I'm going to transfer that measurement over there to all three views all at once. So that measurement from this XY axis to the center of the, uh, of, to the apex of this, um, this pyramid, I find zero over there. I mark off zero on my top view. Mark it at zero. I take it across to my right view. I mark off zero on my right view. I take it across to my left view. I mark it off as my left view zero. Right, once I've done that, I'm now going to go to point A. Point A. There is point A. I'm going to find A over there. I'm taking it down to the top view. I'm marking off point A over there. There is point A in that view. I take it across to the right view. I mark off point A over there. I take it across to my left view. I mark off point A over here. I'm going to measure off point B. Let's go to point B. Measure off point B, find point B, come down to the X, Y axis, mark off point B over there. Find point B over there, take it across, mark off point B over there. Find point B, take it across, mark off point B over there. Let's find point C. You'll find that C and A are on the same line, okay? On the same distance away from the XY axis. If I come across here, there's point C over there. Come down, place it down over here. And if you've worked accurately, you'll find that point C, C and A are still parallel to the XY axis. Find C over here, take that across to the X, Y axis, place it down over there. There is C. Note C and A are parallel to the X, Y axis. There's C. Take it across. Place that down over there. There's C. And it is parallel to the X, Y axis. Let's find point D. There's D. Point D. Take it down to the X, Y axis. There's D, find D, take it across to the X, Y axis, Let's place D over there, that's the right view, take it across to the X, Y axis, that's D over there. Okay, and you'll find E is the same length away from the X, Y axis, same distance away from the X, Y axis as D was, so I need to find E, take that across to the left view, Mark it as E, take it across to the, take it across over here, there's E over there, and take that down and mark that as E over there. Right, once we've got all of those points, I now have my pentagonal shape marked off in points over there, my pentagonal shape marked off in points over there, my pentagonal shape marked off in points over there, and I've got my apexes. Right, our next big thing is to look and see what it is we're going to see in the two views. I'm going to start with my top view. If I am a little eagle, let me find my little eagle. There it is. My eagle looking down, can I see the surface of the pentagon? Definitely I can, I can pick that. So I can draw in the surface over here B to C, from C to D, from E to D, from A to E, and from B to A, okay? Will I be able to get an, a line going from B down to the apex over there? Well, let's have a look. Um, 
There it is. That is an edge going down there. Uh, will I have an edge going from D to the apex? Absolutely. Um, I think you can see that I'll have a line going from C going to, down to the apex. Have a look at this. E uh, is not going to be able to be seen because, well, it's going down and it's underneath this thing. You can see that over there. And so that must be hidden detail. And A is definitely down at the very bottom of this thing, so that will have to be hidden detail. Right, that is what my eagle is going to be able to see from the top. Okay, let's have a look from the left. There I am standing in the left. Will I be able to see that surface? Absolutely I can. So I'm going to draw in the surface of the pentagon straight away. Let me draw that in over there. There it is. I can draw that in nice and dark. And I can now try and figure out where my in detail is going, no, my, my lines are going to be. Okay. Will I be able to see this line A0? Absolutely. I'm able to touch it so I can draw that in dark straight away. Draw that in dark. That is an edge going from B to zero. This is an edge going from E to zero. Okay. And obviously I can't see this line C0, it's at the back, so I have hidden detail going down there. And from D to 0, that is definitely going to be hidden detail as well. You'll be able to see that quite easily from where you're standing over here. Right. Okay, my next thing is drawing that right view. Can I see that surface? Absolutely not. I can't see that surface, so be very careful about just drawing it in willy-nilly. Okay, let's start and say, which line can I see first? You'll see over here, C0 I can see. So I'm going to draw in line C0. There it is, going down. If I've drawn accurately, it should go through A and it should go through 0 all at the same time. Okay, there it is. Remember, A and um, A and C should be the same length away. Uh, actually, no, sorry. A, A and C are not going to be linked up to zero on the same line. Okay, you can see C, zero. There's my line very clearly seen as my little man is sitting over there, pointing at that line, drawn in. Right, once I've got that, well, obviously, I'm going to have a line going between B and C. I can see that it's an edge. I'm going to have a line going between C and D. That is an edge. I have a line that is going to go between D and E. That is an edge. I'm going to have a line going between E and zero. And I'm going to have a line going between B and zero. All right. And over here, well, I think you can see that I'm going to have a hidden detail line going between a and B, and I'm going to have a hidden detail line going between E and A, and I'm going to have a hidden detail line going between A and 0. Why? Because A and 0 is right at the back, therefore I must, I must have that line in hidden detail. That line and that line will obviously follow as hidden detail. Right, that is the end of that drawing. Always place yourself in the drawing.